Hey, what's going on everybody? Today we have SpongeBob SquarePants Lost in Time set of 20 different toys released by Burger King back in 2005. Let's get them opened up and have a closer First look. First up in the set is Liberty SpongeBob. This is really cool. With each toy comes this little insert and inside the insert it reads the name of the toy and timeless facts. And on the back there's a checklist here that tells you all the different toys you can get in the whole set. And for Liberty SpongeBob, the timeless fact reads, you must climb 354 stairs to reach the Statue of Liberty's crown. Wonder how long it would take Gary to climb that many stairs. Very neat. And here is Liberty SpongeBob. It looks fantastic. Look at this. You can see it reads July 4th there. And it's got the torch, or he has the torch, and you can spin it all the way around. That's the only bit of articulation there. Well, there you have it, Liberty SpongeBob. Next up in the set is Mariachi SpongeBob, and here is his fun fact. A mariachi is a member of a band that plays traditional Mexican folk music. The group usually plays stringed instruments like violins and guitars. Very cool information. Here is SpongeBob looking very cool. He's got the guitar, which I really like, and he's got this really cool looking hat. Look at that. This is really neat. And he's got a little bit of articulation here, so he can spin his feet down here. Very nice. Next up we have Neanderthal Spongebob. <laughs> this guy looks silly. His timeless facts read, Neanderthals became extinct 10,000 years before they had the chance to meet Spongebob and learn the thrills of riding fish hooks. <laughs> and then there's a few other facts. That's silly. So here's Spongebob. Look at this. He's got the unibrow going on. The underblade's got the two teeth sticking up. This is kind of silly looking. <laughs> it's just making me chuckle. So you can rotate his arms all the way around. And the bottom here, his feet do spin back and forth. <laughs> oh, I love this one. Next we have Mounty Spongebob. And his timeless facts read... Mounties used to ride horses. SpongeBob once rode a horse. Actually, it was a seahorse named Mystery. He also took her to work and hid her in the kitchen of the Krusty Krab. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So here's Mounty SpongeBob, and he's looking like he's peering off into the distance looking for trouble, I guess. I don't know. So you can move his arm up and down. You can rotate this one all the way around, too. And his legs spin around. This is kind of neat. I like the way this one looks. Next up is Don Quixote Spongebob, and his timeless facts read, Miguel de Cervantes Saavedra began writing Don Quixote in 1597 at the age of 50. And it was published eight years later. It would probably take SpongeBob longer to write a book considering he has trouble writing an 800 word essay for boating class. <laughs> I totally messed that up. But here is SpongeBob dressed as Don Quixote and this is excellent. I like the way this hat looks. This is fantastic looking. So you can rotate his feet back and forth a little bit and that's the only bit of articulation this guy has. But he looks nice. And next up we have Tai Chi Master Spongebob, and his timeless fact reads, Tai Chi originated in China several hundred years ago. It is an ancient exercise form and one of the most important branches of Chinese Kung Fu. Spongebob and Sandy practice their own form of disciplined exercise, Karate. <laughs> That's silly. So here is Spongebob wearing his gi. He's all ready for action. Take on Sandy. It's kind of nice. I like this. And you can move his arms back and forth and spin him around just like that and there is no movement in his legs whatsoever. But this is kind of neat looking. I like Next it. Next up, we have Andy's SpongeBob. And his timeless fact reads, the Andes, which runs more than 4,900 miles, is the longest mountain range in the world. Then there's a few other facts there too. Very interesting. And here is SpongeBob. And you can see he's got his little pan flute there and his garb looking very traditional and nice. This is a very impressive looking toy. I really like this. So he can move his feet back and forth, a little spin down here. And that's a about it for articulation, but there you and have it. And next up is Pharaoh SpongeBob, and his timeless fact reads, ancient Egyptians buried pharaohs with fabulous treasures to ensure they would have a good life in the afterworld. Very interesting stuff there. And here is SpongeBob, look at this, this is really neat. Look at the emblem at the top there. Oh, I like that, very cool looking toy. So you can move his arms back and forth, give him a spin just like so. And that's it for articulation. Yeah, this guy looks awesome. Next we have Cowboy SpongeBob. And one of his timeless facts reads, Cowboys tend horses and cattle on ranches. Sandy was a cowgirl back in her home state of Texas. 
Very cool stuff. And here is SpongeBob. This actually might be one of my favorites of the set so far. Very cool looking. He's got the cowboy hat, got the big belt buckle there. And he can move his arms up and down just like so. And down here you can spin his feet all the way around too. Very nice. And next up is Polar Explorer SpongeBob. And his timeless fact reads, the southern polar region is called Antarctica. The northern polar region is called Arctic. Both are very cold and covered with lots of ice. Very interesting stuff. And here is SpongeBob looking all cold. Looks like he's freezing. Poor guy. What's really cool, check this out. He's got some skis on. Oh, that's awesome. Or actually, are those snowshoes? They kind of look like skis, but... I guess they could be snowshoes. Ah, either way, poor SpongeBob's freezing. <laughs> and next up we have Sultan SpongeBob. And one of his timeless facts reads, Sultans are supreme rulers of a Muslim country. Very, very interesting. And here is SpongeBob. Look at this. Got the nice garb going on. I like the red color. It looks really nice. Actually, it's more like a violet uh, purplish type color. And he can spin his arm all the way around just like so. Very nice. Up next is Pilot SpongeBob. And one of his timeless facts reads, On December 17th, 1903, Orville Wright piloted the first flight and it lasted only 12 seconds. Very cool information there. So check out SpongeBob with his flight gear on. This is awesome. I really like this one. This is very impressive. And he can move his feet back and forth. He can spin them back and forth just like so. And well, there you have it, Pilot SpongeBob. And up next is Royal Guard SpongeBob. And one of his timeless facts reads, the guards aren't just ceremonial. They are some of the best soldiers in the British Army. When the Queen is in residence, there are four guards in front of the building. When she is away, there are only two. Very cool stuff. And here is SpongeBob. Check this out. Now, now this is awesome looking. I really like the way this looks. So you can rotate his feet down here. You can spin his arms up and down just like so. Give him a salute. Oh, this is fantastic. Next up, Pirate SpongeBob. And his timeless fact reads, Pirates believe that black cats were good luck, so they kept them on board ships. According to pirate lore, if the ship's cat approached a sailor, it meant good luck. When Gary approaches SpongeBob, he's hungry. <laughs> okay. So here's SpongeBob dressed in his pirate's outfit. This is absolutely fantastic. Look at it. It's got the patch going on. It's got the cool hat. And then you can see the pineapple there on the hat. And SpongeBob has a little articulation there. And in his hand, he's even holding a little treasure map. How awesome. Up next, Knight SpongeBob. And his timeless fact reads, The knights of medieval times were warriors. Training to become a knight began at the age of seven. Serving as a page at the end of his tough training, at the age of 21, he became a knight. Very interesting. I never knew that. And here's SpongeBob looking so awesome. Oh, I really, really like this. How cool does this look? He's got a shield. He's got the armor on. Check this out. You can spin his arms up and down, rotate both of his legs, and look at the shield. It's got the the pineapple on there. Oh, this is just great. I love this toy. Next, we have ancient athlete SpongeBob. His timeless fact reads, during the first Olympics, there was only one competition, a 218-yard, 200-meter race. Gary was once entered in a race. He lost to a rock. <laughs> That's interesting. So here's SpongeBob. He looks like a stone statue. This is fantastic. I like the way this looks. It looks like real marble. Oh, this is just very intriguing. So you can move his arms up and down a little bit here and this one spins all the way around you can see he's got a discus right there and there's spongebob's tongue sticking out next we oh. have classical composer spongebob his timeless fact reads music from 1750 to 1820 is considered classical some famous classical composers are ludwig van beethoven who lost all his hearing by the middle of his life yet still continued to write music and wolfgang amadeus mozart who composed for the empress when he was just six years old Wow, now that is interesting. And here is SpongeBob. Look at this. Now, doesn't this look sharp? And you know they used to wear wigs back then, too. So you got SpongeBob wearing the wig. This is nice. <laughs> I like this. And you can see in his hand there, he's got some music there. Oh, that's fantastic. Spin his arms around, his legs move back and forth, spin them around. Yeah, this is great. And next, we have Outback Explorer SpongeBob. And one of his timeless facts reads, Australia is one of the flattest, driest places on Earth. I didn't know that. It's very interesting. 
And here is SpongeBob. Check this. He's got the cool hat, got the boots, cool looking pants, and he's got a boomerang in his hand. This is fantastic. Rotate his arms, his feet rotate back and forth. This is absolutely fantastic. Next up, we have Samurai Knight SpongeBob. And his timeless fact reads The samurai always wore two swords. Their helmets and face guards were often fitted with mustaches. SpongeBob thinks a mustache is a sign of maturity. That and sideburns. <laughs> That's silly. So here's Samurai Spongebob. Check this out. It's very cool. I like the helmet. Look at the design on the helmet. What kind of logo is that? You can see a little pineapple in there. This is awesome. So you can spin his legs back and forth, his little feetsies here. And well, that's about it. But yeah, this guy looks and great. And last up in the set is Viking SpongeBob. And his timeless facts read, Mr. Krabs would have loved being a Viking. Their coins were made from real silver and gold. The Vikings had a particular reputation of excessive cleanliness due to their custom of bathing once a week, just like Gary. Once a week, really? Ooh. So here's Viking SpongeBob, and this is awesome. Check out the stash. That looks great. He's got the goatee, cool Viking helmet, a little shield there. On the back, he's got the cape, which looks fantastic. Oh, man. Let's see. His feet spin back and forth. Oh, yeah. This one is fantastic. So there you have it, everybody. SpongeBob SquarePants Lost in Time set of 20 different cool SpongeBob toys released by Burger King back in 2005. Now, if there's a SpongeBob set to be had, I think this one's it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. We'll see you next time.